One clothing store in Oregon City wants to make sure women of all body types have a good shopping experience. The owner has a personal reason behind this. I share her story in this week's Positive Vibes. From one glance at the Mary Rose Northwest Boutique's website, you can tell it's more than just a clothing store. Our whole goal is to be welcoming and inclusive and just let people know that no matter what body you are in, you are welcome and you will find things that you feel beautiful in. Julie Allen has deeply personal reasons for creating this welcoming environment. She suffered from bulimia and anorexia for 15 years while she was growing up. I was in and out of treatment that entire time, right? My parents had to take out a second mortgage on their house in order to pay for my treatment. It was just insanely expensive. Her parents never gave up on her. When Julie opened her boutique in Oregon City over three years ago, she named it Mary Rose, her mother's middle name. A few months later, she started a foundation with the same name, raising money to help people with eating disorders. Also, a portion of sales from the boutique go to the foundation. Julie says it is help that is often life-saving, like it did in her case. No, I wouldn't be here today. I can almost guarantee you that. I mean, I started my eating disorder when I was about 10, 11 years old, and it was, it was bad. And that's why she's doing her part with her foundation and her boutique, giving women of all sizes a safe place to shop. So we have one rule in the boutique, and that's no crying in the fitting room. And of course, we'll put all the information for the Mary Rose Boutique. We have a link on coin.com. Well, the boutique has become an important part of the foundation that Julie created called the Mary Rose Foundation. And she believes that everybody is a good body. Yeah, and Julie joins us live right now to tell us more about body positivity and her foundation's work. Hey, Julie, good to see you again. <laughs> Good morning. Nice to see you too. Yeah. And so uh, when we were speaking the other day for my story, you were telling me that eating disorders have really become a huge issue in the U.S. and, and specifically in the Pacific Northwest. Yes. Eating disorders are, they're very complicated, but they definitely are, especially during the pandemic, right? Like there has been much more of an increase in eating disorders because of the stress from the pandemic. They're very complicated though. Definitely. Uh, I, I think it, uh, I, I know I've, I've talked to some people who have struggled with disordered eating in the past and, and it's just trying to have that sense of control about anything. So I, I could see how it would get worse at a time when we feel like we don't have control of our lives right now, when, when things are changing all around us. Absolutely. This past year has been incredibly challenging for anybody that struggles with any kind of mental health issue in general, specifically with eating disorders too. Yeah, well, and it's so expensive to get treatment. Um, I know you were telling me, you know, your parents had to take out this the second mortgage to pay for yours. It can be like $2,000 a day in some cases. So you started this foundation, the Mary Rose Foundation, um, alongside your boutique. What are some ways the foundation does help some of these people that are going through this? Yeah, so on our website, maryrosefoundation.org, we have a whole scholarship section that people can fill out. And what that does is it actually funds their treatment for eating disorders. It was really important to me when starting this foundation that we actually funded treatment for people with eating disorders. We also are developing an outreach education programs that works with youth and trying to empower them at a young age so they don't develop eating disorders. But it's always been incredibly important to me to actually fund the treatment because because access to treatment is so challenging on so many levels and just one of the barriers is the financial cost. Yeah, I would have, yeah. I guess I would have never thought of that, but it makes a lot of sense. It's yeah. just the cost to even get in and, and get this life-saving treatment. Uh, I mean, you, you think of just how hard it must be for families to go through that and then to add that financial burden on top yeah. of there, that, that's mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, so yeah. for anyone out there who, who is, you know, maybe struggling right now or, or has someone in their life that they're worried about, what's, what's a good way to approach someone and, and see if you can start that process to get them some help? You know, a lot of people are really scared to, to bring it up, right? Like we don't want to say something for fear of offending somebody or, you know, maybe we're not right, right? But what I encourage you to do, if you think someone in your life is struggling with an eating disorder, is open up that dialogue. Don't judge them. Don't try to fix it. Just open up that dialogue and say, hey, I've noticed change. Change is the 
you really want to watch for changes in people's behaviors around food. So watch for change, let them know that you care and that you are worried about them and then work together to find a plan that works, um, works for them. But just don't be afraid to open up that conversation because, you know, silence does nobody any good. Silence doesn't do anybody any good, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, no, that is such great advice. I think a lot of people aren't sure how to approach it. Well, thank you so yeah. much again for all the great work you're doing, Julie. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. Yeah, bye. and to learn more, bye. To learn more about the Mary Rose Foundation, we'll have a link to that along with a link to the boutique on coin.com. Very cool. All right, hey, up next on AM Extra,